and it says to solve by the substitution method. And what we're doing is we're solving a system of two equations. And so we're looking for the ordered pair xy that will uh, satisfy both of these equations at the same time. And here's the approach we'll take. When you solve by the substitution method, what we're going to do in this case is to solve one of the equations for y. And we're going to solve this one for y because it's fairly easy to do that one. And we're going to take the expression that we found for y and plug it into the first equation. So then we'll have an equation with just y in it. And we'll solve that equation for y, and we'll come up with a number for y. And we'll take that number for y and plug it back into either one of these to find the x value. Now keep in mind that we could do this whole process, but instead of solving for y to start with, we could solve for x to start with. And it just depends on whichever is easiest to do. But like I said, we can solve this one for y pretty quickly by dividing both sides by 15. So we would have y is equal to 4 plus 5x divided by 15. And uh, we can split that up so that we've got 4 over 15 plus 5x over 15. And then we could simplify that second one might help a little bit. So we have y is equal to 4 over 15 plus, well, 5 will go into 5 once, 5 will go into 15 three times. So 5 over 15 is 1 over 3. And then just put the x out to the side here. You could leave it on top. It really wouldn't matter. So that's what y is. And now what we want to do is take that expression for y and plug it back into this first equation. And so that would give us 15x minus 10 times y. Well, here's what y is now. 4 over 15 plus 1 over 3x. And all of that is equal to a negative 5. Again, just taking this equation and then rewriting it, plugging in this whole mess for y. All right. Now we've got this equation with y. I'm sorry, with just x in it. With just x in it. So we want to solve it. Uh, first thing we'll do is get rid of those brackets. So we'll carry the negative 10 all the way through. Negative 10 times 4 over 15. Um, well, that'll simplify, but just let's carry it over. Is for now 40 over 15, and then we'll simplify it next. And then negative 10 times a positive 1 third x is going to give us a negative. 10 thirds x is equal to a negative 5. And like I said, we can simplify this. So we have 15x minus, let's see, 5 will go into both. So it'll be 8 over 3 minus 10 over 3x is equal to a negative 5. Well, we've simplified the fractions as much as we can. and. I've had about as much fun with them as we can, so let's just get rid of the fractions. There are two fractions, and the least common denominator, well, they're both three denominators. So we'll get rid of all the fractions, the two fractions, by multiplying everything on both sides by three. Every term on both sides has to be multiplied by whatever the least common denominator is. So when we do that, we get uh, 45x minus, well, the 3's cancel, so we have 8 minus, here the 3's cancel, so we have 10x is equal to a negative 15. All right, we're getting somewhere. 45x minus 10x gives us 30x. And if we add 8 to both sides, Add 8 here and add 8 here. Well, negative 15 plus 8 is a negative 7. And I did make one little mistake here. 45 minus 10 uh, historically is 35, not 30. So 35x minus, uh, 35x is equal to a negative 7. Now we solve for x by dividing both sides by 35. We get x is a negative 7 over 35 reduces to x is equal to a negative 1 fifth. All right, we found what x is. 
now we just need to figure out what y is and to do that let's go back up to some of the equations we had up here before we have uh, an expression for y it's right here so let me copy that down below we said that y was equal to got an extra little line here y is equal to 4 over 15 plus 1 third x so we know x is negative 1 fifth now so y is equal to 4 over 15 plus 1 over 3 times x well x is a negative 1 fifth and that means that y is equal to 4 over 15 plus, and this is going to be a negative 1 over 15. Well, 4 15 minus, in other words, 4 over 15 minus 1 over 15 is 3 over 15. So that means that y is equal to 1 over 5. That simplifies. So the solution is x is a negative one-fifth and y is a positive one-fifth. And so that's the solution to the system of equations. And if we were really gung-ho, we would take those two values and plug them into both of these equations. First plug it into this equation, make sure it works, and then plug it into this equation and make sure it works. Uh, but we probably had as much fun with this uh, as we want for now. So that's the solution.